Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton from the Flourish Academy where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to eliminate more distracting elements in the background, but first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. They are incredibly supportive of the Flourish Academy, so I'm asking you to please be supportive of them in return. My friend Val recently sent me this image. You'll definitely want to check out her photography at ValerieThomasPhotography.com. But I wanted to remove the blue street sign from the photo. Now the one way sign doesn't bother me so much, but I find the blue to be really distracting. So I thought what we would do is try a variety of tools to see which one works best. We're going to begin with the spot removal tool inside of Lightroom. You can access that tool by pressing Q on your keyboard. Now I think I'd like to take the feather all the way up to 100. I definitely want the opacity at 100 because I want this completely covered. And I'm going to leave this on heel. Now the difference is heel will copy, paste, and blend pixels, but cloning will just copy and paste pixels. And that usually doesn't work well in a situation like this. So what I'm going to do is brush over this sign Lightroom is going to attempt a source selection, but I am going to place my mouse inside of there and move that around a little bit and see if I can make a little bit better of a selection. And as you can see, the edges aren't blending really well. Maybe if we bring that feather down, that actually did help quite a bit. So let's take a look at that before and after. That really did a pretty nice job, but let's jump this into Photoshop and see what happens with the patch tool or the spot healing brush. I like to do this periodically just to compare tools to see what works better when. I'm going to begin by pressing Command or Control J on my keyboard in order to duplicate my background layer. I'm going to hold down Shift and press J until I have the patch tool. I'm going to click and drag and select this sign with the patch tool, then place my cursor inside, click and drag to a source. So as you can see, it's working in a very similar fashion to the spot removal tool inside of Lightroom. And when I let go, Photoshop attempts to copy paste and blend those pixels. I need to press Command D in order to deselect. And if I look at the before and after, well, we have some unwanted pixels there that really don't look that great. So let's name this layer patch tool and remove its visibility, jump again to the background layer and duplicate it with a Command or Control J. And let's press Shift J this time until we have the Healing Brush tool. Now, the Healing Brush is very similar to the Clone Stamp. It essentially copies, pastes, and blends the pixels. The Clone Stamp will only copy and paste, but you need to start by defining a source. In order to do that, you would press Alt or Option on your keyboard, and click to define that source, and then start brushing over the area you wish to remove. And periodically, I will release my mouse, press Alt or Option again, and click to define a new source, just to make sure I'm not repeating pixels. And I just start to cover this area up. And again, this tool will copy, paste, and blend, which is why you see that dark area coming through, which is exactly what you want. And let's take a look at this before and after, and we will name this layer Healing Brush. So, so far we've used the patch tool, which did not work that well, and the Healing Brush, which was, well, okay. But I actually think that the Spot Removal Tool in Lightroom did a much better job in this case, which is actually great news, because if I can keep most of my workflow inside of Lightroom, I will, because it will always be faster. Now, the point of this video was to just show you that different tools can accomplish the same goal, but some of them do it better than others, and it really depends on the image. Leave a comment below and let us know what your favorite healing tool is. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.